review type thing um, I did actually um, I did actually record this yesterday um, and then when I went to upload it like after I'd like put it all together um, it was just a black screen what's up with that so yeah it's not the first time it's happened either so uh, yeah what I'm going to be um, reviewing is the MUA's new cream blushes and the MUA uh, new intense kisses Lip balms, uh, lip balms, lip glosses. Right, so let me start with the blushes because this was requested by Lisa from Spaces Number One Girl. Um, she saw that I got the um, bitter sweet one, which is from um, in a haul the other day, and she asked me if I'd review it basically to see what it was like. Um, and to be honest with you, I didn't actually know it was a cream blusher until I got it home. Um, so that's quite funny, because <laughs> I don't usually use cream blushes. don't usually like them. Uh, but I gave it a go, um, and I've been using it quite a lot, actually. I haven't got it on today. I've not got this one on today. Um, but I have been using this pretty much every day since I bought it. Um, sort of like a couple of days after I bought it. And I absolutely love it, to be honest. So, and of course I loved it that much that I went out and got the other four colours, or the other three colours, that I could find in the shop at the time. So the first one that I've got is Bittersweet, like I said, it's like a really sort of light, light dolly pink. I'm going to swatch them on the back of my hand. Um, no, I won't, I'll swatch them on my wrist. So that's, that's Bittersweet, just there. Uh, the next one I've got is Blossom. Uh, I don't know what sort of colour this is really. Brownie colour. Yeah, it's more of a caramelly brownie colour. You see it? It's there. Uh, so that's blossom. Then I've got Dolly, which I think is a lovely name, to be honest. Uh, and Dolly is sort of um, corally, sort of corally pink. Let's watch that next to. Oh, that's that one there. And the last one I got in that range is Yummy. Yeah, which is like a really darker sort of. I don't know, it's not really tiny. So there you go. So this one, the first one up here is Bittersweet, then you've got Blossom, then you've got Dolly, and then you've got Yummy. Um, and they are quite creamy, they, they feel quite thick to start with, but they do blend out really well on the skin whether you're using your fingers to blend it out or you're going to use your um, uh, the other thing I use usually to blend my blushes out is my Real Techniques uh, Real Techniques Stippling Brush I find that if you dab it into the cream blusher and then just like really swirl it gently you get a more natural effect um, more of a deeper effect you can use your fingers um, I've used both and it works both ways to be honest it's absolutely lovely so that's my review on the MUA blush you get quite a lot in there as well in each um, little pan you get 3.2 grams which is quite a lot of product and I also like the fact that they are an oblong shape rather than round um, actually don't ask I don't know why I prefer that but I just think it's unusual to find a cream blusher in a long pan rather than a round pan so yeah, that's the cream blushes. Absolutely love them, and I think they're two pound. They're they're two pound fifty each um, in uh, on the MUA counter. The next thing that I'm going to review is um, the MUA Intense Kisses lip glosses. I don't like the lip glosses as a rule. I really don't. Um, but I bought this to try it. The same time as I bought the bittersweet. Um, oh, blusher cream blusher um, I thought I'd try it uh, these these are two pounds they retail out um, and MUA counters um, it's a little sofa applicator 
and when I tried it, when I got it home and tried it, I couldn't believe it. I don't like normally lip glosses because they're sticky, um, and all, all the ones I've tried are sticky. They're sticky and they smell funny, um, and if they don't smell funny, they smell really, really nice, and then there's just nothing there at all, no colour. Um, so when I got this home, I tried it, and I absolutely loved it. So I'm going to swatch. I've got six colours. I went back and got the other five colours that are on the display in my um, super drug. So this is the first one I bought, and this one is Lips Are Sealed. So I'm going to put that one there, and a really, really good colour payoff as well, guys. So that's Lips Are Sealed. Um, then I've got a nudie sort of colour, which is called Sealed With A Kiss. Um, all lovely names as well. And that's like a really sort of nudie colour. It is just a nudie colour. That one there. Uh, the next one I've got is sort of a darkish brownie colour, and this is Kiss and Makeup. So that's yeah, that's more like a bronzy, darky sort of colour. Kiss and Makeup. That one. Then I've got lovely raspberry pink colour. Really good colour payoff on this one. Then I've got a deeper sort of toned ready pink. This one's called Stolen Kisses. That one. And I've also got a lovely Barbie pink. Well, I call it a Barbie pink. I don't know what you call it. It is a really nice light Barbie pink. I think it's got to be my favourite actually. And that's that one there. So yeah, they're not sticky. They're very glossy. They stay on for quite a while. Um, the colour payoff is fantastic. I would actually say this is more of a liquid lipstick than a lip gloss. Um, or a glossy liquid liquid lipstick, if you like. The smell is... Sort of lip glossy smell. It's not fruity. It's not overpowering. It's not... It's got a slight scent of vanilla to it. But I'm not keen on vanilla and I can handle this so it can't be that bad. Um, yeah, I absolutely love these, and like I said, these are two pounds each. Um, so there's all my lip glosses in there. They're two pounds each, which is an absolute bargain. Um, they're not really. See, I haven't got one on today, but they're not. They're not um, glittery in any way. They're nice and gl glossy, but they're not glittery. So yeah, that's my mini review on these. I hope this helped. Um, definitely, Lisa. I hope it helped. These, I think you'll love, because um, I know you love cream blushes. I think you will love them. Please go out and try them. Um, try one to start with, because if you don't, I don't want to get the blame. Um, but yeah, I think you'll like them. They're very blendable. They're very creamy. And the lip glosses, while you're out there, please try some of these as well, because these are divine. And this is coming from someone that hates lip gloss. So yeah, I love these. Uh, right, so that was my little mini review on the new MUA products that are coming out. Um, there are a couple of other things that I bought that were new, like the Glitter Nail Polish and the uh, Magnetic Nail Polish, um, but they are pretty much standard as to most of the drugstore. Um, there's nothing really majorly overly impressive about them, to be honest. So yeah, I didn't stick them in this, this review. But yeah, I hope that helped, and um, I shall hopefully see you all in my next video. Okay, thanks. Bye.